Video VBOX is a two-camera video logger with GPS, which is specifically aimed at helping circuit drivers improve their lap times. Video VBOX comes with circuit tools analysis software, which is designed to make the process of learning to go faster as simple and intuitive as possible. Let's look at the latest version of the software, Circuit Tools version 2. When you come in from the track, the first task is to eject the SD card from your video VBOX. If the box is still recording, then make sure you press the record button to prevent corrupting the video. Insert the SD card into your SD read on your computer and press F2 to start the file transfer wizard. The file transfer wizard should automatically detect your SD card and navigate to the media folder on that card. From there, it will scan the VBO files to work out which circuit you have driven using our comprehensive circuit database. It will then create a folder for these files using the circuit name followed by a subfolder for each session. To start the copy process, use the M key to move the files off the SD card onto your PC or the C key to make a copy. Once the files have been copied across, the file open screen will appear, which gives you a video preview alongside the number of laps and the quickest lap time for each file. This allows you to quickly identify the files you wish to load. This is the best time to change the name of the files to something more suitable. Always use the rename button as this renames the data and video file so that they remain linked. You can now select the file you wish to analyse or to load multiple files, simply hold the control key down and select each one in turn. The data files will then be loaded into the software which scans through each file and picks out the fastest lap from each session and compares them against each other. In this case, the fastest laps of each driver are shown in the main analysis window, with the videos shown alongside each other and synchronised to the start of the lap. The session window shows the two data files which have been loaded. The laps have been arranged in order of the fastest to the slowest. The overall fastest lap is taken as the reference lap, and the relative lap time differences are shown in the delta column. If you want to compare different laps, use the show button to make them visible. If you want to export the video of a single lap, use the export video from current session button. This is very useful if you want to upload your fastest lap to YouTube. The graph screen shows the speed traces from both laps and the delta t or lap time difference between them. You can change the layout of the screen by using the function keys. Useful layouts include F5 for full screen video. Note that in this screen you have a timeline slider to move the video on the toolbar. Press F6 to show the graph and data, and F11 to show the track map. To quickly preview any of these screens, hold down the Shift key and press the Function key, e.g. Shift plus F11 gives you a quick preview of the track map. If you want to manually change the layout, then click and drag the sliders. If you want to restore the screen layout, then simply double click on the relevant function button. Now let's take a look at how you can analyse the data. By clicking on the graph, you can move the cursor. The videos will stay synchronised with the data and the channel values will be shown in the data window. You can also move the cursor by using the cursor keys. To move one sample at a time, hold down the ALT key whilst you use the cursor keys. The delta T trace is very powerful as it tells you where time is being lost or gained around the lap. An increase in delta T time indicates time is being lost and a decrease that time is being gained. It is best to look for a large change in lap time and concentrate on this area in order to find the biggest gains. In this example from Brands Hatch, the largest gain came from the section including the second corner Druids, where the faster driver gained almost four tenths of a second. You can zoom into the graph by clicking and dragging the cursor from the left to the right using the mouse. You can zoom out by clicking and dragging from the right to the left. You can pan by right-clicking and dragging with the mouse. When you zoom, the delta T starts again from zero to make it easier to analyse the specific area of interest. You can play back the video at any time by pressing the spacebar to start and stop and the backspace key to return to the previous starting point. You can change the speed of the video with the drop-down menu or by using the minus and plus keys on the main keyboard. Here is the video running at half speed. So let's examine the section where the most time was lost. To start with, the faster driver is braking later for druids. You can see this more clearly 
by pressing F9 to switch to full screen graph mode and examine the speed traces. Here you can see that the blue speed trace starts to slow some way before the red trace. Switching back to the main screen using F4 and carefully placing the cursor on the point at which the driver starts to brake, you can see that the slower driver is braking some distance before the red section of barrier on the left hand side. By using the ALT key and the cursor keys, we can single step forward until the red trace starts to decrease, which shows that the faster driver is braking right next to this red section. This alone is worth three tenths of a second. This later braking is also helped by the driver using more of the track on the left hand side before he turns in, lengthening the braking zone. Moving the video to the apex and playing in slow motion, you can clearly see that the faster driver holds onto the apex for much longer and the slower driver drifts towards the outside of the corner. This means that the slower driver has to back off the throttle slightly in order to stop running wide, which can be seen in the blue speed trace. This results in a tenth of a second loss by the braking point for the next corner. Therefore, by using more of the left hand side of the track, braking slightly later and holding a tighter line on the exit of the bend, four tenths of a second could be gained on this corner alone. This time was found by using a combination of the delta T trace and the video, which together allow you to easily find out the differences between two drivers.